My name is Jeanette and I want to thank you for joining me on the channel Jane Reads. So today is day 11 of Bookmas. You can't really see that. If you haven't seen any of my other Bookmas videos they will be linked in the description below and day one talks about the envelopes. So I'm just going to get right into it today and let's see what this envelope contains. New releases that you wish you read this year. Oh, that's so funny. I The day I'm filming this, I just watched a new release video by Oshina. I will link that below. So that that is so funny. Okay, so I need to grab my new releases list and my phone so I can look up the descriptions to tell you. So five new releases that came out in 2022 that I wish I have read or on my kind of my most anticipated. Okay, so I'm going to go from the new releases from January, starting back in January. The first book that came out this year that's on my list that I have not read yet is Sunrise by Susan May Warren. This is book one of her Sky King Ranch series. I consider it a romantic suspense, but the back says contemporary romance, so we'll see, I guess, when I read it, kind of what. I just, most of Susan May Warren's for me, books for me have been a romantic suspense. That's kind of what I feel they fit in. But the publisher feels like it should be a contemporary romance, so we'll see. Um, basically, the tagline says, coming home was never the plan. So this is going to be, or is, a three book series. And book one came out in January. Book two came out in June, which was Sunburst. And book three came out in November, which is Sundown. I have not read any of these books yet, but they are on my list to get my hands on so that I can read them. And I have book one. So hopefully I can get book two and book three soon so that I can read them next year. Susan May Warren is an autobi author for me and I've really enjoyed a lot of her books so it's kind of like I really need to get this series so that I can read it. So then another book is Malicious Intent by Lynn H. Blackburn. This is book number two of her Defend and Protect series. This one came out in March and I have not read <laughs> I have not read book number one yet, so it's on my shelf, but book number three doesn't come out till next March, like coming up. So I that's why I haven't read it yet, because I really would like to read all three of them back to back. I picked it up because I really liked um, Lynn's series The Dive Team Investigations. I just I fell in love with that series and her writing. And so I want to read her new series. So that is why I'm working on collecting it so that I can read it. It is another romantic suspense, but because it's book two, I don't know how much of it carries over from book one. So I'm not gonna read the summary or anything, but I will read the tagline. It just says, her years of research and sleepless nights are about to pay off if she can stay alive. It's gonna be suspense filled. <laughs> I hope it's going to be suspense filled. So yeah, so that is another one that I am looking forward to reading. Then in April, Sea Glass Cottage by Irene Hannon came out. This is book number eight of her Hope Harbor series. I have not read it. I have not read book six or seven yet. I have them on my, they're over here, I think, um, on my TBR shelf to read. Hopefully I can get I plan on going back and rereading books one to five of the Hope Harbor series because I now own them. <laughs> and so I'm really hoping I can get the whole series read and I can get caught up on it for when book number nine is released next spring. I think May, but it could be March, April. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Sometime next spring anyways, book number nine comes out. So I really hope to get it. This is a contemporary romance. 
and it usually features new characters to the town of Hope Harbor or kind of one new and somebody who'd already like a current resident. So I, I'm intrigued to see kind of where it's going and we also get to revisit characters that we've gotten to know in the past books. So I love the community feel of this book. And it just says, when painful paths collide, can love overcome heartache and triumph despite the odds? So those are the only ones that I own in physical copy. I do have a Kindle version of Relative Justice by Robert Whitlow. So this is a legal thriller and Robert Whitlow is a lawyer turned writer. So I really enjoyed a lot of his stories because they're very, they feel very true and could happen in the real world. So basically it just says, for the attorneys at Cobb and Cobb, the pursuit of justice is about more than legal expertise. It's a family matter. So David Cobb is not a typical lawyer. He's more interested in dispensing God's wisdom than permanent legal advice. High stakes litigation is way outside of his comfort zone. For many years, Zeke Cadwell has been conducting home remedies made from natural ingredients found in the coastal marshes near Wilmington, North Carolina. One of his remedies proved so effective that he patented it with the help of David's father. Now he suspects a big drug company has stolen his formula. What he doesn't know is that the theft has deeper, more evil roots. So, we'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'm really, I'm interested in, I've read a lot of Robert Whitlow's books. You can't see them. They're a little bit lower on my shelf because he's W. <laughs> um, so I've really, I kind of want to get back into the legal thrillers because I've really enjoyed a lot of law book, like law based books before, law, law based stories, law, law heavy stories. I, how do you say that? <laughs> um, so yeah, so it is one and it was on sale on my Kindle for $1.99. So I'm like, I can't pass that up. And speaking of being on sale, I picked up book three of the Becky Wade um, Misty River series. It's called Turn to Me. And it was on a candle sale when I got it. Um, because it's book three, I'm not really going to kind of read the description or anything because I have, I've read book one. I wasn't a huge fan of it, but I want to give it another chance. And I haven't read book two yet. So I'm hoping by reading like them kind of back to back that I'll enjoy them a little bit more. We'll see. I really, really enjoyed Becky Wade's um, Bradford Sisters series and the Porter Family series. So I'm really hoping I will enjoy this one and maybe just maybe book one's characters just weren't for me and I will enjoy book two and book three more. I really hope that's the case. <laughs> So another book that I picked up on a Kindle sale was I'll Be Seeing You by Robin Lee Hatcher. This one was released in June and it is, I think it's considered a contemporary romance, but, or maybe a dual timeline. I think maybe probably a dual timeline, thinking about it. So generations of secrets unfold as a young college student learns the truth about her great grandmother's World War II heartbreak and love. I just, this cover just drew me in. I just, I don't know. There was something about this cover that I just, I saw and was like, ooh. Now Robin Lee Hatcher is one, is a, is a hit and miss author for me. I've really enjoyed some books by her and others I just didn't enjoy so much. But when I saw this and then when read the description and that it really sounds like a dual timeline one. I've really enjoyed those stories kind of taking a story from World War II and kind of we're following those characters and how that happened and then we're following the college student nowadays that has found these letters from the past and then we see how the stories interconnect and kind of weave together. I just I really enjoy books like that so I'm really hoping that's what this book is like. We'll see. 
So I've done pretty good about reading new releases in the second half of the year. Beginning of the year, not so much. So the last book I'm going to mention is The Deadly Shallows by Danny Pedri. This is book three of her Coastal Guardians series. I have read book two, one and I really enjoyed it. I have not read book two, but I do own it. So I'm really hoping I can get my hands on book three and then I can read one, two, and three back to back because that's the way I like to read. Um, it is a romantic suspense. And basically, because it's book three, I'm not really gonna, I don't know if characters carry over or storyline carries over. I don't know. So I'm just gonna read kind of the tagline at the very top of the description. A deadly attack, a stolen weapon capable of immense destruction, a painful secret that threatens to tear two hearts apart. I just, yeah, I really enjoy Danny's Petri writing, Danny Petri's writing in the Alaskan Curse series and I want to say Cold Shot series, but I don't think that's the actual name of the series. Uh, Cold Shot is one of the books. No, Chesapeake Valor. Valor. So yeah, so she's kind of another one that I just, I want to pick up and read all her books and see. So those are the books that came out in 2022 that I have not read that are high on my list to read. Hopefully I can get them all read next year because it's not going to happen this year, but hopefully I can get them read next year. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you will tune back in tomorrow for day number 12. Thank you. Bye.